Good morning, everybody. For those of you who haven't met me yet, my name is David, and I'm your new school chaplain. I'm really looking forward to getting to know you. But right now, it's week two. It's time for us to pray. Our theme is unity. So we gather in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We start, as we always do, with a gospel reading. It's taken from the Gospel of Matthew. If your brother or sister sins against you, go and tell them their fault, between you and them alone. If they listen to you, you have gained your brother or sister. But if they do not listen, take one or two others along with you, that every charge may be established by the evidence of two or three witnesses. If they refuse to listen to them, tell it to the church. And if they refuse to listen even to the church, let them be to you as a Gentile and a tax collector. I say to you, if two of you agree on earth about anything they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered in my name, there am I among them. The Gospel of the Lord. See, it's our shared purpose that makes us unified. Our shared purpose here at St. Oscar Romero's is for everybody to grow, to learn, to become the best versions of themselves that they can be. We all have a part to play in that. Now, why? Well, we grow to be the best versions of ourselves in order to be better able to meet the needs of our world, to respond to our climate crisis, to ensure that everybody in the world has got access to fresh water, to food, to shelter, that everyone's needs are met, that everyone is cared for, everybody is looked after. That as a world, we're better able to respond to crises like the earthquake in Morocco. Now, this challenge to make our world better is daunting. It's not something that we can just do on our own, which is where our unity gives us strength. But it's even better than that because the gospel says that where two or three are gathered together in Jesus' name, Jesus is with us. And that's the case here at our school. We don't do this alone. We gather with Christ, with Jesus, and we gather in Jesus. But the reading actually starts by talking about what do you do with disagreements? What do you do when people do things that are wrong? And it encourages us to challenge them appropriately and to use the systems that are in place. And so it is in our school. We're unified when we don't accept things when they're wrong. But we trust our systems and the authorities to respond. So I suppose the challenge to each of us this week is what will I do to help everybody else grow and to flourish? What will I do because we are unified? So together, let's pray. We're going to pray our school prayer together as both a witness of our unity and also as a way of us being unified. I'll pray all of the words and you join in in the usual way. God be in our heads and in our understanding. God be in our eyes and in our looking. God be in our mouths and in our speaking. God be in our hearts and in our caring. God be with our friends and family. Be with us now and always. Amen. Saint Oscar Romero, pray for us. And may Almighty God bless us all in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And I look forward to meeting you and getting to know you over the next few days and weeks.